Raise your trunks in the air as the most debonair man of man strides into the room. Bringing forth from his lair as his foes all despair for a fleck be the name of their doom. Whoa! That's our black. Blacky, blackity do! Yeah, something black. That's the guy who says. Uh, ooh! Gosh, oh chunks, quit it! You're breaking windows! What are you yelling about? Oh, Dad? Yeah, I just had O'Chunks come up with a nice motivational tune. And as punishment for getting beat by that hero again, I'm making him sing it a thousand times. One thousand? One thousand times? Gosh, you're even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting. So, where's the count, huh? I want to see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything and I'm getting so bored. Hey, Count! My destructive little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back in action. Yes, Brobot is begging me to take him out. Say the word and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shove the robot action plan for now, okay? The thing is, the Count kind of left specific orders for us to stand by, got that? No way, we're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come get us? So the Count doesn't need my services, excellent. I'll just be off then. You go nowhere! We wait! It's the Count's direct order! His word is absolute! Be a good little minion and do not move until told! Okay? Thanks. But I'm bored! And Robot Graves is deadly smash! I just can't loiter here. There's no action. To say so when you part for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio! The Count's orders are all absolute, completely without exception, yes? We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the hero will please the Count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oopsie, I just remembered something really important that I gotta do. Back in the jiffy, bye! Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I've got to go the Flavorizer Brobot's <laughs> Flavorizer. I'll return once everything's up to code. Uh, later, Dementio. <laughs> my, my, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. Blackity do? Look, Timponi, the stores are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe that wishes on stores come true. Oh, is that so? In that case, we better get wishing, don't you think? I don't need to wish anymore. Hmm? I already got my wish. Now, I have everything I need right here. Timponi, aren't you cold? Not at all. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this? Just a little longer. Tippy! Tippy! What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seemed a little out of it there. Well, didn't you just hear something? No? All right, then. It's just that, for a second, I thought I had to remember something very important. The void. It looks as though it's gotten bigger. We need to open the door to the next world quickly. Let's hurry. So it's Tippy imagining all that dialogue that's been happening. That's crazy. We gotta know more about her backstory about her form before becoming a pixel, and when's the last time we actually rode an elevator down instead of jumping off? <laughs> Funny. Oh ho, you're back! Have you seen the sky lately? The void continues to grow larger. I imagine that some worlds have already started to decay. I wonder how long our dear flip side will be spared. 
The Light Prognosticus doesn't say anything about how long we have. The Light Prognosticus was only written to counteract the Dark One. As such, it's not truly prophetic, so it's hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all. Well, we can only go for it now. We can't just wait for all worlds to end, can we? Yeah. Of course you're right, my dear. I've received a message from Norem recently. It seems that someone on the outskirts of Flopside has spotted a heart pillar. As you're no doubt seeking the next heart pillar, that is a good place to start. I will go back to the Light Prognosticus to look for clues. Well, hello, my good friend Norem. What is going on? Did you hear from Merlon? The next heart pillar is on the outskirts of this town. Go to the outskirts, then go down one floor and find a special spot to do a thing. Or at least that's what my dreams told me last night. I think. Okay, I get it. You're not very whimsical and knowledgeable from the prognosticus because you don't have the prognosticus. And what the heck is that yellow thing in the back? It really stands out. Oh, hello. Oh, I am surprised you are finding me. I am called Welderberg. I am the Iron Man of the Forging of Pipes. Have you ever thought, ha, huh, it is taking so long to get around town? Yeah, me too. And so does my life's work to make the pipes for the transportation. I have inspected here, yeah? I am thinking I can make the pipe leading to flip side. What do you think of this? You are covering cost of materials and labor, yeah? I can make such a pipe. You are looking not very rich. How's 300 coins? Are we having a deal? You know, that could really help. I'll pay. I got the money. We can get the pipe. This is the good thing, yeah? I am getting started. You are staying out of the way. I mean, look at that. What is that, though? What? The... He just transformed into a jackhammer. And he made a pipe. Oh, oh. This pipe is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You are using it whenever, yeah? Wise people are always being more efficient. You made the wise decision. Well, I am going. The way he moves, though, it's like he's a giant germ or something. Watch out for him, Pixels. I think that guy's dangerous. But giant germ aside, we now have a shortcut between flip and flop side. Now, to the outskirts of town. And... Wait, that's a bad hole? Really? Oh, okay, I'm not doing that again. No, 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 that's, that's not happening. Oh, wait, a giant yellow block. And what else? Is that it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. I have a hammer. There we go. I keep forgetting this isn't like the other Paper Mario games where you have a hammer. No, you have to switch to the pixel hammer. Of course. Oh. Got green watermelon looking enemies here. Oh well. Three points. Alright, what do we do here? To the hero, have you forgotten already? Feeling stumped? Try flipping. I mean, Mario, you're this late in the game? Have you forgotten already, you idiot? I got it. Huh. Whoa. Where do we end? Whoa, flipping back brings us back here. That is so weird. All right, hurry. We got to shrink and flip back. Ah, never mind. It hurts in tiny size. Oh, right, and break. A giant red switch for us. And what did we unlock? The next heart pillar. Oh, cool. Okay, I guessed it correctly. If a pipe came out instead, that would be embarrassing. Alright, another blue color! At the Duel of the Hundred, the hero will meet with dark powers of purest chaos. 
If he falls at 100, the chaos world grows and the purity heart fades. And as that happens, the hero will fall to the world where all games are ended. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> that is in the section of the light prognosticus that I just deciphered. It seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these duels, all worlds will be ruined. And apparently your lives will be lost along with the purity heart. I know that what I have just shared with you might only serve to discourage you. I still must send you forth, however. This saddens me that I can do nothing else. Alright, bye. Under the looming shadow of the void, the world slowly drifted toward the Mize. But not all hope was lost, two pure hearts had yet to be found. Could our daring heroes find them, or was the world doomed to be devoured? Mario, Peach, and Bowser adventure through the next door to find out. It is time for Chapter 6-1! Summer Guy Showdown. Okay, the, the, the void just appeared like whoom! Remember me? Oh. Look at that. The void. It's enormous here. Much bigger than it is in Flipside. This dimension must be very close to destruction. We'd better hurry. We have a pure heart to find. Okay, here we are at the Samus Kingdom. Let's see. Alright, to the palace. By the way, when it was talking about the hundred, does that mean like the pit of a hundred trials or something? It spoke about the hundred so much. I yield! I am shamed! Ah, so you run, coward. You disgrace your family's honor. Another unworthy opponent. When will this hero of legend appear? Time is running out, and still he refuses to show his face. Hey, my face is right here. It's cute. You stop now. You wear the clothes of a crazy. You must be if you mean to challenge me. His name is Mario. He's not here to challenge you. Ah, so it began, Challenger. I am known as Jade Blooper, guardian of the first gate. Prepare for game over. Achow! Wait, when does turn to the... Wait, what? Round one fight? What? When is turning to Kung Fu Panda X Street Fighter or something? This is weird. He keeps slashing. I can't do a thing. I can't jump on him again. All right, fine. Let me get the sumo wrestler out here. Oh. No more, I beg you. Your power is great, challenger. Your skills are impressive. So the hero of legend has finally revealed himself. You may go to the next gate. What next gate? What is going on here? Oh, splendid! Oh, oh, what a performance! And what exotic garb you drape yourself in, Challenger! You wear nothing, I like it. <laughs> my garb is my bracelet? What a rousing spectacle of martial artistry! I don't know who you think you are, but I got a rousing spectacle for your face! Insolent! Show respect, dog. You stand before King Summer, ruler of the Summer guys. Your unusual fighting style brings me amusement to no end. As a reward for your victory, I shall allow a glimpse of my treasure. Behold! Uh, hey, you got one of those pure heart things. Indeed, it is the pride of the kingdom. If you desire, prove your worth by defeating my loyal vassals in a tournament. A showdown. Ooh, is there gonna be a steel cage? In our kingdom, there is a legend that has been passed down through generations. When a great hole appears in the sky, the world will soon be devoured. The tempest in the sky grows larger by the day. It must be stopped. But the legend goes on, and Shoah shall continue a very dramatic reading. Mm hmm. Only one thing can stop the void. The great hero must be given the pure heart. Vessels to me! Oh, can the game handle all this? Hacho! Hail Slammer! 100 strong! These are my vassals. Should you beat them all, you will prove you are the true hero. Yes, I shall reward you with a pure heart if you best my other 99 Slammer guys. 
Be gone, summer guys, and move to your tournament positions. Watch out! I'm sure I'll be on the edge of my throne throughout this thrilling tournament. I will await your arrival at the palace. The tournament has begun. Let's go to the side. Okay, that was odd. So the king will give us a pure heart if we beat the other 99 summer guys. You better get started. You have a lot of fighting to do. Oh boy. Is not the pit of 100 trials. Is the 100 Samurai Guy Tournament sponsored by Kung Fu Panda and Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and many other martial art video games? I see you look upon Hill of Eyes, Keeper of the Second Gate. You run along the earth, attacking immobile blocks, and I see you. You leap above deep pits, dodging wandering beasts, and I watch you. Soon you will fall in battle by my merciless hand, and I laugh at you. Oh my goodness, is everybody gonna talk so weird-like or something? Because I'm not ready to hear all, like, so much dialogue. Can I just burn him? Oh, he dodges. He's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come over here. Boom! Gotcha. Oh, right in the eye. You mean the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. You did not wither beneath my cold, unflinching stare, and so I am defeated. But defeat and victory are equally meaningless to one such as I. I will remain in the distance, waiting with our remorse and always watching. Two down, 98 more to go. And do we have to listen to all their dribble as well? Like, everyone has to speak in a certain way? I don't know what to say, but let's move on. An opponent blows in. My name floats like an ill wind, for I am Puffing Fist, guarding of the third gate. I can send the mightiest opponent to his doom with a single strike. Poing! He said poing! But they all do the same slash attack! They're like Pokemon with only one move! Wait, that- One little attack? No, it is you who has dealt with the poinging. Ugh. I have failed the ancient Bwang traditions, my strike slack puff. I must go and train at the Cloud Temple. I will use my remaining vacation days. Aw, I guess he didn't get enough PTO for that. Pay time off. Man, he he worked so hard for a small vacation. Oh, he's got a maze. Soon, Challenger, you will scream in terror at the name of the flightless bird. For I am squatting Birdo. Ha, <laughs> Birdo. Ever hungry and guardian of the fourth gate. Now you will know the fury of the most deadly fighting style. Birdo squat! I don't think I ever want to see Birdo squat. No thank you. Whoa! Hey! Can I try it on you though? Free Thunder Rage! Here, take this lightning fist! Squawk! Well, that was easy. The egg of my defeat burns hot on my face. I bow to your skill. Bird will be with you, challenger. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue with this, isn't there? Here we go, to the next gate. Let's do it. Oh, he's got a spike. Tell me, challenger, have you ever tried to catch a jumping fish with your bare hands? You will know the frustration soon, for I am leaping cheap, keeper of the fifth gate. The cheap cheap soars in the air and strikes his play prey like a fishy tsunami. You still the 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 time to fight! Ah! Wow, these guys go down easy. But that's so cheap. Your skill is strong. If only my flying fishy friends had leapt to my aid when I called out for them. Something tells me he doesn't really have friends, and I feel sorry for him. That he believes his friends are all fish, but there's no pond here. There's no pond. No pond, no fish. Before we must fight, consider this haiku. A challenger comes under the darkening sky. Wiggles he wiggle. Master Wiggler wiggles in defense of the sixth gate. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. What, is he gonna start wiggling? I would love to see him start wiggling. That would be hilarious to see. Just to see him go wiggle 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 wiggle. Ah, fine. There. Wiggle. Wiggle. 
Before you leave, contemplate this haiku. The challenger came. Now my face wiggles in pain. Wiggle, wiggle, wig. Wiggle on, warrior. Wiggle on. All right, let's wiggle on. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Is that how you wiggle? Is that how you do it? Is that how you do the wiggle? I'm pretty sure that's how you wiggle. We're wiggling on. We're wiggling on for you, Master Wiggler. Even though you're not a wiggler, you're just a samurai guy like everybody else. Wait, can we go in 3D though? Aw. Stompo! I am sure of Karibo. I protect the seven gauge. Stompo! Some try to tiptoe past me like little fancy slippers. Hey, stomp them! Stompo! Shoe stomps all! Stompo! Sure, Karibo will thread on you! Stompo! Oh, I think the Karibo shoe is like that little green shoe. It's a very cute shoe. And there we go. Stomp out! Stomp out, I'm stomped. You cross shot my stomp out. You boot shoe, stomp out! Man, dude, these guys, they've been waiting for like years, centuries. I don't know how long. They've, they've been working on their lines in the shower. Like, what should I say to the warrior when he finally arrives? You fry now! I am Guy Who Fry, master of dripping magma punch, guard of the eighth grade. Gate, 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 not eighth grade. I see your eyes burn with purpose. Will I torch you today? Or will your burning desire to win extinguish me? I say, you fry now! Ooh, can we fry you? I'm kinda hungry right now. I'm alright with some fried samurai guy right now. Ah, you know what? Here, take this. We won. It is I who fry today. I am like a sad pail of discarded grease. Go now, fry Samurai guys in memory of guy who fry. Because I try, instead I cry. But I can't dry these tears from my eyes. Enough of these rhymes. It's getting really lime. Yes! The shrill shriek of the screaming mantis paralyzes you at gate nine. You are motionless with fear. Now I pray on your face. Yes! Did it just yeez get me? How dare you yeez get me? How dare you? You will pay with this dishonor. Yeah! <laughs> Screaming mantis throats grows horse. Screaming mantis requires a lozenge. Then why yell at me the whole time? I require a lozenge. I require bottles of water. But my voice still sounds fine. Must be all that practicing of yelling in the shower or something. Whoa. And so you come at last, like a young bloom poking through an early spring snow. I am called Koopa in winter. I weigh a mobile by the temp gate. The plant that blooms early freezes and perishes. And so too shall you. He looks like he's about to paddle me. What is this, a fraternity? Whoa. Whoa, he's got really thin arms though. Ah, I can't jump on that? Take that! Oh, we can leave, we can leave. Okay, cool. There, I won by cheating. <laughs> no! The cold sun of winter has set upon my soul. It made you bloom this day, but beware. The ice and snow, no, no, legion. They will consume you too. You need to work on your muscles, buddy. They're really thin. And you got big bulbous hands. Gigantic bulbous bubble hands. How can you lift that paddle? The 11th gate, a place of power. And here you find footsteps of coins. Tell me, warrior, do you walk with your eyes open? Do you see many coins? Coins and blocks, coins on clouds. Everywhere there are coins glittering. It is I who leave them. It is I who wander the wide world. Coins falling from my heels. Does this mean others should pick up my coins? Of course not. The coins are mine alone, and now I will make change out of you. Choo-choo! Hey guys, I found the money man. He is money man, my friend. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get the hammer. I just want to smack something. Can I do that? There we go. Here, we're having a slashing match. <laughs> I'm broke. My wealth wasn't my battle skills, and you have robbed me of them. My property of spirit is now matched by my empty pockets, and now I am faced with... No, a loan from mother. She will frown upon me. I would rather sell my weapons. 
but I can't. I told her these are real authentic weapons from Japan, but she told me they're toys and to sell them at a, a garage sale. And I yelled, no! I mean, really, they're toys, man, toys. So you challenge your skill in the duel of 100. I am the guardian of the 12th gate, Urchin Lung. <laughs> so you must be wondering how many more of these guys must I fight? Fool! There were 88 more of us. Does your resolve falter? Do you have what it takes? It is a relentless marathon of martial archery. Now come at me! Man, he just reminded me. There's 88 more to go. My goodness, can I can I really do 88 more? Can I just continue planting bombs at this guy's feet and pretending I'm fighting him? Like that? A crib! I yield! Them, oh, don't talk about cramps. They're, they're the worst. <laughs> so you're not a slacker after all, fresh challenger. You may have the stamina to defeat us to feed us up You may have the stamina to defeat us all, or perhaps you will get a side ache. Or maybe I'll get a stomach growling at me. I think my stomach's like, stop! I'm hungry now! The longer you do this, the more I starve, Pixel. You will starve. Kaka! Kaka! I will feast on the delicious flavor of your defeat! I'm Crow who eats Gordon at the 13th gate! I will make many meals from your shame! Kaka! Do it round 13, let's do it! Yay! Whoa, whoa, he makes sound waves. Ow! How dare he make sound waves? How can he make sound from sword that slashes? Kaka! Kaka! Cruel irony, now it is I who must eat crow. You mu okay, I, I feel sorry for the crow who you're about to eat. I know it's just a saying, but I'm just imagining that this guy just eats crow, and that's why there's no crows around here. Hello, poor thing, I am Swollen Dog, master of the 14th gate, feel me. You shall not guess, wait, I mean grass, I mean pious. Oh, who cares, let us fight, Grr. Oh, swollen tongue? Okay, let's fight swollen tongue. I'm gonna drop my gun right here and dip the dude. You got them up, and now another one for you. That was fun. Well, I'm having a sit. I need a hit. I wish I was more sit, though. So, have enough had you? Then now, uh, I'm gonna die. It was nice meeting you, swollen tongue. And it was weird talking, pretending I had a swollen tongue. <laughs> All right, next challenge, here we go. The foe you face next is Slipping Grip, fearless guardian of the 15th gate. I am a new student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy, but I recently passed my Slapatology exam with the highest marks. Now it is you who reap the benefits of my industrious note-taking. With Slippery Palms? I don't think you would write well with Slippery Palms though. Like, imagine trying to write, and then the pencil or pen just slips out. Grip, slipping. Like, the sword should have fell out your hand or something. I bring shame upon the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy, but you will be no match for my brothers. Their palms will the fury of the winds. Oh, don't tell me that's a farting academy, too. The winds. <laughs> Funny toilet joke. By the way, how much is tuition for the Sweaty Palms Academy? So, you have defeated my brother. I am the second most famous student at the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. You have no doubt seen me in the Academy newsletter. I am Clummy Hand. Guarding the 16th gate is my senior project. I will not fail! Wait, this is a sen- Wait, this is a senior project? When can I get in this? Can I- can I redo my final project and just guard a gate? The world grows clammy. So clammy. Do not think this is done, you must face my other brother next. He got the attention for studying the forbidden wicked palm of a thousand sweats. Ew. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> also, clammy hand, master hand, crazy hand. I believe they're all brothers here. I am forbidden slap, former top student of the sweaty palms martial art academy. But I was expelled for learning forbidden slapping techniques from dark tones. Now, I wield history's most feared and reviled sword slops. Oh no. 
Not the forbidden sword slaps. Whatever shall I do against them now? With the disastrous slapping! Hey, my, my stomping leveled me up. The forbidden slap yields. You have defeated the three star pupils of the Sweaty Paul Martial Arts Academy. Brother! Brother, are you hurt? Slipping grip, clummy hand. Why are you here? Why have you left your gates? We were worried about you. Brother, return to the academy. They will take you back. Yes, let us return to the academy and earn an advanced sweaty palm belt. Perhaps they will forgive my selfish quest for dark slapping power. As for you, you may pass. You have beaten us. Now go on and shame the rest like you have shamed us. May the martial arts spirits grant you luck. Onward to glory. And as they run away, they leave like a trail of sweat. Like it, and I'm, I'm like slipping on it. Whoop! Like that would be disgusting. Oh, sweaty palms. The handshakes must be awkward as heck. Like, nice to meet you. Whoop! Oh, oh, oh. Come closer. I am just a harmless leaf on the trimmed lawn of the 18 gate. Ah, no, I am Harry Arantula in the grass. I leap on your head and bite your earlobe. Hush! By my earlobe? So, are you gonna be my. E oh! He quick! But he also down. So, if he bites my earlobe, does he become an earring? Your earlobe, it is like her. I skitter away. Okay, now that was quick and. That was like short and quick to the point right there. Can the rest of the battles be like this? Like. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Oh, again, impenetrable. Another castle stands vigil over the 19th gate. Many challengers attempt to lay siege on me, all leave in tears. Tire yourself all you like pummeling my stony abdomen. I will not fall. But you fall like everybody else. All I gotta do is place a bomb and go boom. And my attack went up to 14. Boom. Easy. Walls falling. I got crushed. <laughs> Well done, but your prize is another castle. <laughs> Hold the video game joke. <laughs> okay, let's leave. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> video game jokes. I get it. Hello. Smoosh. The rolling dwarf gave us one game best in life. Rolling. Squish. I roll over you and make you flat like sheet of paper. Uh, sorry to break it to you, buddy. I think I'm a. I think I already am. Oh, hey, a little buddy appeared. Hey, little buddy. Oh, he's throwing. He's throwing shuriken stars at me. Hold on. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get this boy. He is not making it easy for me. Oh, that's it. Boo! Why do you not squish for rolling thwomp? Rolling and squishing is not the same as it was. You go now. I have lost passion for squish. The void is growing larger. We have to hurry. Hurry, why not pause and save the show? It is already far too late to stop. Come black. Come black. <laughs> Look! The prophecy unfolds smoothly thanks to the chaos heart. The light of each world will be snuffed out one by one. Why would you want to do something so unspeakable? You question Count Black? This worthless world's destruction matters not. Far better for Count Black to wipe it out of existence than let it remain. How can you say that? That's horrible. Count Black scoffs at you. An insignificant pixel lectures Count Black on what is right and wrong. This is not up for discussion. You're wrong and sick. All living things have a heart. They're all priceless. You can't just erase them. Of all things, you defend the heart. Nothing could be more worthless. All things are meaningless. Aside from Timpani, no treasure mattered in the least to me. Tim Timpani? 
Speak no more. This world is dying under the monocle gaze of Count Black. But don't let that stop you from trying to find a pure heart you will never acquire. <laughs> Black. Oh dear. We'll go squish soon. Must tell King Samur must not accidentally squish King again. Last time he did, he went oof. Wait, does that mean we still have to continue? Oh, hello. The Garden of the 21st Gate simmers in hot savory fury. I am thrashing Prawn. You will never pierce my briny husk. I will flail mercilessly at your face with tiny arms. Oh, this isn't a good time. If you are the hero we have waited for, you should hurry along to the treasure. I, Thrashing Prawn, must swallow my anger and allow you to pass. Wait, but does that mean we have to walk through every other room? All 79 left? Well, 78 now. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, I guess we're gonna continue on and just pass everybody. Oh, how many... 77 rooms to go. Come on, Nintendo. You wouldn't really do this, would you? Would we really have to walk through the rest of the way to the end? Come on, there has to be like a skip or something. There just has to be. No. This is getting ridiculous. The void is getting bigger, yet it doesn't matter. We're just gonna run through it. Why not? Oh. Foulness, I am Sunshine Flood. The shining beacon that exposes your filthy filth. I will mop the stage with your filthy clothes. But now is not the time. We will meet again, but you must go and find the king. I will. Oh. The. The. the oh. Cool. End of chapter!